Hello everybody and welcome back to new area door. A lot of things have changed here in the area, but my area really didn't. There's a chest we'll check out in just a second, but if you just have a look around, there's things everywhere popping up and I think that that's really cool. We can see everything from here and we can see it even better from the viewing platform up there. And I think that I want to go there first because I've got a little bit of an announcement to do. And uh, the people that are watching the stream right now when I'm recording, we get this announcement a little bit earlier than anybody else because I think that I'm the first person announcing this now. Um, so you see this area down here. This is meant to be for a town hall. And we thought that we want to get you guys involved in the building of the town hall. So the question is, how can you get involved? How can you join this server here and build it with us? Because that's what we are aiming for. We want some, to get some people onto the server that built the town hall with us. And um, the thing or the, the contest that we want to set up for this will be happening on the community server. The IP, I think, will be up here in, in the top right corner of the screen. Um, and what you can do there is claim a plot it's a creative server and show off your skills uh, with building so um, we can see or we can get some inspiration from your builds and then based on the plots that you submit we want to um, get some people onto here that have great ideas, that have great building styles or just unique in some way and uh, build the town hall together with them. So that is the idea for the contest. It will be running until the 25th of March. So you've got about two and a half weeks of time to do that. We thought it's good that you've got some weekends because most people are busy with school, I bet. And uh, so uh, then on the 26th, we will send out some messages, some invitations for, uh, yeah, some people that can help us then build the town hall here and I think that uh, that is a cool thing to interact with you get some people here onto the server onto new Riador and build with us a town hall so I think you will be looking forward to that I wanted to get this announcement right off uh, in the beginning and uh, now we can start with the things that I've got planned for the episode last time I've been talking about um, the um, yeah, plan for my house over here and um, the house I yes yeah, said I want to have like different layers and I did a live stream yesterday where we uh, took a look at some different ways of laying it out and I think I've got a basic idea what I want to do and also we were caving and man it is so difficult to cave in uh, this version of Minecraft 1.9 and if you look at my armor it's almost gone so I want to make myself some new armor and uh, then I found in a cave, in a mine shaft even, um, some lapis in a chest. And I think we can put this lapis to good use. Uh, once again, I'm not branch mining, uh, for now at least. I want to, to only cave, I want to find a cave naturally. And so I've got four lapis lazuli, which means that we can do four enchantments. Uh, this here is, by the way, the house of my new neighbor, it's Skid. We did a video together on that. If you want to see that video that I recorded for him and with him, um, I was just standing there recording and doing something else while he was doing the work and building the awesome house here. But uh, that is on his channel, uh, the third video on his channel, I guess. Um, so check that out, it's down in the description, uh, the link to his channel. Oh, the door is open. Somebody should close that. And he got a enchantment table that I can use. I don't want to show off too many things here, but I think uh, you will enjoy the time-lapse watching it even if I go into here, because it's a time-lapse build. Uh, short video, you should definitely check that out. Why can't I do that enchantment? Oh, uh, I see. I need to block off the um, bookshelves. So the only thing that I've got with me is the acacia wood. So let me put it into here and then let's try this again. Unbreaking one. Mm, not too good. I want protection basically. So let's uh, try to get some protection. Uh, that will help me a little bit. Protection. Yep, it's good. And then we can do the boots. Protection. Nice, there's a high chance of getting protection with, with those enchantments. 
and this will help me now a little bit more staying alive. I think it's a good idea to have some low level enchantments on my stuff. If I would stop dying, I could even make higher enchantments with level 30, but since I'm dying a lot, that's a little difficult. So where is the way down again? I think here. Now, about the acacia wood in my inventory. My house is going to be built out of acacia wood mostly. It's maybe a strange decision for a block type, but I wanted to do something really different. I was building before a lot with quartz and with stones and with birch wood, with oak wood, with spruce wood. That were usually my, my blocks that I choose and so I think I want to try and build with acacia. So I don't know if you like it. I think the texture, the like gray texture on the side is quite cool and also the stairs that I will use for that uh, will go quite well. I've been using Acacia before in the zoo project in the last season and something that goes really well with the Acacia in my opinion is bricks and so my friend the official blaze uh, brought over some bricks. Heard y'all needed brick as well. And as far as I got it from Chris's video, so WC Hammond this morning, uh, the word y'all is not right in this context, Chris said in his video. So, please get your English right. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I want to lay down now the foundations of the house so I can explain a little bit what we want to do with it. And um, then uh, we can yeah have a look at the different elements of the house and why I built it, how I want to build it. So let's quickly jump into it. Here it is. The house is in place. I'm no, just kidding. It's uh, not really in place. It's just the basic layout so we can see where things would be going. The idea is, as I said last time, that there's different ways around the whole house. So I want to have a tower here, which you can't really see because I can't build a tower because the chicken farm is in the way. Uh, and uh, then there is a bridge going over to the first, no, second floor of this building. In English it's, uh, this is the first floor, this is the second floor, I think. And um, in here there will be a staircase going down to this floor and there will be a staircase going down from here to the downstairs area, which will be quite big, I think. And also a door here. This will already be the outside, while there's a wall over here. And uh, there will be a path that leads from this place through here to the other side. Uh, I will have to make it look nice with the terrain here, because this deep, uh, steep wall is now uh, not so perfect for that. And also there should be a path coming down from here towards that area, so they join up with the path from there, just going through the house. And uh, then to the tower, there should be a little bit of a bridge that leads to the upper area of the tower so that you can walk a staircase down. Go into this area here, going over there. And if you go further down, you will have an exit right to this spot where there will be a door over here to the back of the house. And um, then to the right, uh, again, if you go further down, you will also get to the downstairs area and the storage area, which will be located somewhere underneath here. Uh, just underground. So basically we have a tower, lots of uh, walkways to build and um, two rooms. One there, one here. The upper one will be a little bit smaller because um, if I can get over there once more. Um, we will have uh, this area here as a balcony. It's so up to the slots here and just this yeah, two by two area for the room which will be the sleeping room. I think my bed will be right here. Um, overlooking the back area, which I might change around a little with the trees. I don't like how it looks right now that you can see it to the top of the trees. I might steal the idea from Skid there and do a little bit of a pond, not too sure though. And um, yeah, then downstairs I will have my working area, so crafting table, maybe an enchantment table if I really need one, and anything else that I can think of. So kind of a, in air quotes, quit, uh, kitchen area. So that's this here. And then downstairs there's then the storage area and more things to come. So that is the idea so far. I will now go ahead and take down the chicken farm because we really need the space there and later we might uh, rebuild this uh, at another place. But for now it needs to go and I will get the flesh out of there, the eggs. So we have that all stored. And all the materials have been used up by now. All that I've got left is like one brick, three of the locks. And uh, that means that my building is done. No, it's not. I just ran out of materials. Um, that is how it looks. 
It looks so horrible right now. I don't know what to say about it. Um, I think it would turn out great. I'm, I believe in this project. But with everything kind of half done, it looks not decent at all. There's like a big wall section missing here. There's the windows missing overall. Uh, when I ran out of Acacia, I thought, hey, let me at least finish the roof. I started building the roof and then I ran out of the slabs. So I need to get more of the bricks. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. This is at least done uh, a little bit. Uh, the, the staircase in the tower. Uh, there's still the chest with the eggs that needs to be moved. There's a door over there, which I think we can reach through the window. Um, there's no door. Let's place the door then. There we go. Door in place. And uh, that goes into there and then down here. I already continued this a little bit and there's a little bit of a tunnel to the other side. So just uh, we can take a look where we actually are. I think the storage area will, will go a little bit deeper um, and then maybe in this direction instead. So uh, we'll see how that will look. I really like this part where you can walk underneath and uh, inside here we don't have the stairs in place. I think they will go over here up and down on this side. So around here should be good but yeah I'm totally out of materials and uh, that is a big issue. So I will have to go and get some more to be able to finish that. I'll see if I go caving next or get the materials. Uh, depends a little bit on what the people in the stream want me to do. But I need to do both. And maybe finally I could find my first diamond patch in a cave without branch mining. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Whatever I will do next, I will show it to you in just a second. Why can I open the chest? Just... Wiggling with my shield. Go an apple. Man, if this would only have been a notch apple. Hey, I'm new to this channel. Oh! oh my goodness! Uh, welcome to the channel! Whoa! I think my heart skipped the beat. Hey. Oh no, it's another creeper. Come on. No, 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 no. Die. Earlier somebody asked uh, why I died in the UHC so early and if you haven't seen that there's a video on Blaze's channel where we played a UHC at the, one of the super big UHCs and he did a highlight video so I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, as I said on Blaze's channel you will see why I didn't upload anything of it uh, in his video. Rika got a notch apple. Whoa! Rika got a notch apple. Cool. I want to find my own. <laughs> Go for it, eat it. Oh, maybe we can craft a banner. That's cool, we could craft a banner in this episode. It really lets me craft a banner. <gasps> diamonds! I found diamonds. Yay! After how many mining sessions? One, two. Come on, game. You must be trolling me. Okay, two diamonds. I can make a diamond hoe with that, right? I think this is all just iron. Yeah. Okay. Diamond hoe it is. <laughs> I just came back from the mining session and I saw there's a chest in my house. Let's have a look. It's the notch apple that Rika found. That's so kind. Uh, let's use this and put this to great use because people will love this. So for the new Riado banner, that's of course what we want to do. We need a red banner. Therefore we need some red wool. And uh, then we just craft the red banner. Then we do um, actually a middle line and we put a second line in the center so it's even a little bit more clear. Then we do a red frame around it 
and then we uh, put a like half on the top so we have a lower line there and then the notch apple will go right in the center. Right now it looks weird, but if we put white dye to it, it looks almost like the new Rio banner. The last thing that is missing is a red top, how would you call that, third? I think it's a top third. Uh, so that is how you craft the new Rio banner. And we can duplicate this now multiple times, so we never have to craft it again. Um, and I think I would take care that I've got one or two even, I, I think I can do two. So let me put one away. So we quickly duplicate those because uh, those notch apples, they are rare. I tried to find it in several caving events that I did and I didn't get any. So three banners, that's nice. If I had an ender chest, I would put one in, but this is cool. I can distribute them so everybody can get the new Riador banners on the server now. Look at the great view here from my balcony. Doesn't that look fantastic? I've been working on the house for quite some time now. And while I was doing that, I totally forgot that I don't have any more time. Uh, so I quickly need to uh, show you the house now where it is and do then the rest of the decoration in between. But uh, if you remember the last clip where I showed it, it looked quite horrible. Now, I think it looks amazing. Believe in your projects. Uh, I think what makes the whole difference here is the bright green of the bushes. They take away a little bit from the orange and pair nicely with the orange. And uh, so it doesn't look that strange anymore. Uh, it really fits into the environment. It looks quite natural. I especially like this walkway with the pass block. I started laying this out now. And then I realized, oh, I should be recording. I need to head out. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, this is the building from the back now. Also, I, I pretty much like it. I like how the fence uh, and this windows goes up to the very top and then we've got a little bit of roof there. Same over here. I think uh, that it turned out how I wanted it to turn out. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Was this a success or should I tear it down or burn it down and start over again? I don't think so. I think it, it turned out decent. I need to work on the interiors. I need to work on the downstairs area. I need to decorate the outside, make flower beds and all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of stuff that I need to do or want to do, but I'm just out of time now. So I want to remind you guys once more about the contest, about the town hall. I think that this is going to be great on the community server. I would try to be as much on there as I can. And uh, even if you don't believe in uh, your building skills, still try because um, we might see something that is unique, some great ideas, or we might just see that you're active and uh, your name's out there and then we remember you maybe for the next contest. Uh, so um, don't be shy, build your ideas on the community server, claim a plot, and uh, then I, I hope we have a great time in the next two and a half weeks on the community server. But that is going to wrap things up for this video now. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.